Hello and welcome to this first video. Today we're going to talk about sample apps. This video is the first of a series in which we'll tour our different sample apps. My name is Philippe Ozil, I'm a developer advocate at Salesforce and I'll be your host. In this first video we're going to do a harbor tour of our different sample apps. I'll share where you can find the sample apps, what are the different types and use cases for those apps. I'll also give you pointers about how to discover any given app. I'll share also some information about the tools we use to build and maintain those apps. In the next episode of the series, we'll share about specific sample apps. Head over to github.com slash apps to get started. We have about a dozen of sample apps there and you can explore them through this readme. All of them are open source and connected to GitHub repositories. You can explore them more in depth by opening the description and features tag to look at the key features, some learning content in the description. You can also find sample apps and other open source projects on developer.salesforce.com. Simply go to build menu, select code samples and SDKs. Sample apps are grouped into two categories, use case driven apps, and recipes apps. Use case apps are each built around a mock customer use case. They tend to focus on some subset of the platform features that the developer wants to learn. Some of these include experience cloud sites, Heroku, Slack integrations, packaging, and more. Recipes apps show how to solve coding problems, but don't necessarily try to tell a customer story. They provide a set of short and easy to digest code samples. For example, how to do conditional rendering with lining web components, how to use future methods in Apex, or how to migrate tabs implemented with Visual Force into Lightning Web Components. We set up a number of resources to help you discover the apps. There are four main resources that you can refer to. The app README, Trailhead, In-App Guidance, and Code Tour. The app README is the first stop for learning about an app. You'll get a short description of what, what the app is, some related learning resource to get started, and then if you scroll further down the table of contents, you'll find installation instructions for multiple environments like Scratch Orgs or even Developer Edition Orgs or Playground. Then for certain apps, you'll get also additional demo installation steps if you want to have additional uh, learning experience. Then we cover also some of the instructions for learning about the different tools uh, that we use to build and maintain the app. As you saw earlier when looking at the README, our apps start tied to Twilight Quick Start projects, the project presents the app use case and the key features. All of our quick start projects are linked together as part of a trail discover trail at sample apps. From there, you'll can, you can find all of the different sample apps and their related quick start projects. We also have in-app guidance known as walkthrough to help you discover the features of the different apps. Finally, we also use CodeTour, a VS Code extension to guide you through the code highlights for our application this set of tips. When building sample apps, we use a number of developer tools on our development machine, and we also leverage continuous integration. Let's go through some of the key tools that we use. All of our applications use the latest version of the Salesforce CLI to deploy and set up our apps. Our projects also include a number of Node.js dependencies for the sake of development. These are optional and will never be deployed to production. We use tools such as Prettier for code formatting, ESLint for code linting, Jest for running Lightning Web Components test, and a number of other tools. Refer to the README for more information about the tools that we use. On top of the local developer tools, all of our apps are built with Apex and Lightning Web Components tests. We use continuous integration to enforce quality when working with pull requests. We use GitHub Actions for our CI, and this means that all of our workflows are open source, so you can take a look at them and watch the different steps that we take and copy them for your own use. That's it for a tour of the sample apps. Today you learned about where to find the sample apps, what are the different types of apps and their use cases, and what are the tools we use to build and maintain them. Head over to this link to get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you found this content useful. Remember this is part of a series and we'll be touring the different sample apps in the upper videos. Thanks for what?